Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very overdue update type video for getting Sims 3 to run smoother. Um, so several years back I did a video on how to get your uh, game to recognize your graphic cards and everything like that. So I feel like it's well overdue. I know there are so many other um uh videos out there um but i just want to give an extra video out there for you guys because there's some things some people do there's some things i do um it just kind of depends on the person and you know everything so i don't do everything that a lot of people do um i keep it to the bare minimum i don't like to change too much when it comes to like in-game files um, but there is some things that I do change. So um, because I obviously I pit, play The Sims 3 on a daily basis, um, the settings that you're going to see in these certain files already are where they're supposed to be. But I'm going to do my best to kind of explain on how you're going to get it to work basically. So if you are looking to play The Sims 3 and it's just not you know, the best at performing. Um, I just want to clarify, The Sims 3 is not built on the greatest engine. Um, and when they were creating the base game of The Sims 3, the engine that they were using was outdated and just wasn't future proof, basically, for, you know, things. Now games, they're built on way better engines. Um, Sims 3 was launched in 2009. That was what, you do the math like 13 something years old I don't know um so it's an older game and so it's just it doesn't run the best um but thanks to people in this community they have figured out a way to get it to run you know decent not the best but decent so we are gonna go ahead and jump on in and the first and foremost I will have I guess you could call them chapters. So if you only need certain things, then go ahead and scroll or go to the description. There'll be timestamps and everything like that. So it's going to be an in-depth video and hopefully it helps you guys play The Sims 3 because I know I love The Sims 3. It's probably my favorite Sims 3 or Sims game in general. My phone is going crazy. Oh my goodness. Um, anyways, so yeah, um, if you, this is something you guys are needing or just wanting and everything like that, then just keep on watching. So the first thing is getting your graphics card to be recognized for The Sims 3. So first, when you install The Sims 3, you'll get an error that pops up most likely, especially on modern day computers, um, that it was an unrecognizable graphics card. So basically, um, in your documents folder, um, Electronic Arts, The Sims 3, there is this device config uh, file. So when you open this, it'll pop up and right here, name, database, GeForce, your graphics card, it'll say found zero and matched zero. So basically what it's trying to tell you is that your graphics card is not in the game's card database, I guess you could say, um, and you have to manually put it in. And it can be very, very tiresome and very, very tedious. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to try and explain to you on how to do this. I've done it in the past, and I know that there's quite a few people that I've turned comments off on there and I've had newer comments like, hey, I need help um, getting this to work. So I just felt like it was time for me to do a fresh one, I guess you could say. So anyways, we are going to start off with, um, so you go to your wherever your Sims 3 is located. Most likely it's in your program files. And if you got it on Origins, it's in Origin Games, um, The Sims 3, Game, and Bin. 
So we're gonna go ahead and click on this graphics card folder. And it can be very, uh, very scary, but I, I guarantee you, it's gonna be it's gonna be easy. So I have a Nvidia GeForce card, and so I only know GeForce or Nvidia cards. So I apologize if you have like an AMD card or an Intel or whatever. Um, I'm sorry. Um, Nvidia is probably gonna be what you guys have. You just need to go into your, um, you know this device config and look for that. So you're gonna scroll until you start seeing uh, GeForce right here. And I'm gonna try and find where I put mine. Okay, so this is mine right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And so that way I can show you. So basically you're just gonna go ahead and do the same layout um, and you're gonna put the space and you're gonna type card zero X. It's always going to start out like that. Um, so basically your, um, card device number, whatever you want to call it is going to be different than mine. Um, and to find this, you're going to go back to the device config window and you're going to scroll or look for chipset. Um, and then there will be some vendor and then the device. So your device number is whatever number is right here. Um, mine is 2503. So you're going to just go ahead and copy that right there. And then where you put the 0x on your graphics card notepad file, you're going to go control V if you're on Windows. And then you're going to go ahead and hit a space. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and put the little quotation marks right there. And you're going to type in GeForce just like that and put a space. So that's what everyone's gonna have. The only thing different is the number right here is gonna be different. It's gonna be whatever your device config says. So for mine, I have an RTX, which is like the newer model of graphics card, but most likely you guys have a GTX. You guys are gonna type in GTX most likely. It just all depends on whatever your name for your card is. So mine is GeForce RTX. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in RTX, all capitalized, and then I'm gonna put my card number. So I have an RTX 3060. And it's going to look like that. And then you're going to put the quotation marks just like that. Um, so that is the first thing that you guys are going to want to do. Um, and then you're going to go over here and click file save. And it'll overwrite whatever was already there. And then you're going to go to your graphics rules. And this one can be pretty scary and pretty daunting. Um, and there is... Um, so down here, it's the first one, thank goodness, um, check or look for NVIDIA, the vendor, card vendor, NVIDIA, you'll be right there. Um, but I do want to say that this section right here is, like I said, very, very scary. Um, but I am going to try my best to explain to you guys. So if you guys go back to your device config and you see GPU five GPU memory or ignore that GPU five. That means that your computer is Uber. Basically, um, it can be the highest settings and you should be good. Um, if it says GPU one, you're on the lower end or GPU two, you're low or medium. And then GPU three is medium. And then GPU four is high. GPU five is Uber. So if you go back over to your graphics rules, you'll see card level Uber, card level, level high, card level medium, card level low. And if you have, say, we're just gonna go ahead and do, say, if yours says three, which mine said five, you're gonna put all of the information that you're about to put in the medium section, which would be this section, but it would be above it. So the line above. So this section right here is the medium. Okay. Um, so because mine is a five, mine is in the Uber section, which is right here. So whichever one it is, like the number 
this is the section that you're going to have to put it in. I didn't know this when I made my first initial video. And I feel like that's the reason why some of y'all are having trouble getting it to recognize your uh, graphics card, your GPU. Um, so I want to apologize. Um, when I made that video, I wasn't too like into the know, I guess you could say, of how to do this. I, I was still new. Um, so after doing research and research and research and trying to have to or having to refigure out how to do this, I am now aware that it's different for everybody's card. It just kind of depends on what your GPU can handle. So my GPU is five. So my thing is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that so that I can delete it so I can show you guys what to do. All right, so you're going to go whichever level um, that your card is, and you're going to go in between the two uh, the two asterisks or whatever. No, that's not asterisks. Wow. Whatever those things are called. And you are going to start typing, or you can actually go up to, like, say, this one right here and copy everything up from the or to the comma. You can go ahead and just copy and paste. And then you're going to go ahead and hit space. And then you're going to do the quotations and then a asterisk. Oh, my God. I never type or never put asterisks. Wow, I'm just all over the place. Um, so quotation and asterisk. And then you're going to go back to your device config and you're going to put your RTX or GTX, whatever it says. Um, mine's RTX. So you're going to do RT. X capitalized and then you're going to do a space um, and then this is where you're going to do kind of like um, this is just for all in general that so like a 1080 everything in the tens and everything like that so for example if you have a GTX 1080 it would be GTX and then it would be uh, 10 but mine's going to be 30 because I have a 30, 60. And then you're going to do two question marks. And then you're going to do the quotations again. And then another, oops, sorry, 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 asterisk. And then a quotation. My bad. So you're going to do that. And then you're going to do the little uh, comma thing again. You've got to add that because it closes out this one specifically. And then this little one closes out the entire section. So that is for that um, section part. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do file, save, all that fun stuff. And then you should open up your game and you can just load it up to like the main screen, whatever it's called. Oh my gosh. The menu. Um, and then let it basically get everything like this thing or the device config um rendered or whatever it's called um and check and make sure that it says found one matched one if you don't have that um leave a comment i will do my best to uh get back to you as soon as possible so um you guys can get your game running good so the next thing I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is how to limit your frame rate. Um, and it's honestly, it's not that hard. Um, this is how you do it with NVIDIA. And I'll have a link to this little um, application. I don't know how to run it, um, but I'm, I'm sure you guys, there's, there's videos. I've never used this before, but I know... A lot of people have used it and have success with it. So I will leave this in the description bar for you guys. Um, sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, but for NVIDIA graphics cards, which is what I have, um, if you go right click on your uh, desktop, you will have a NVIDIA control panel. What you want to do is you want to go over to the program settings. And usually Sims 3 is in here but if it's not you can hit the add button um and uh it will pop up and be able to you know search 
can't find the program, browse, and you just will have to open uh, it up from there. So basically what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to scroll down and it has the max frame rate. Right now I have it to 60, but if I use global setting off, <clears throat> it, doesn't it doesn't limit it. Um, but if I turn it on, I can go ahead and put 60. Whoa, not 560. I can put, oh my gosh, what is going on? I can put 60. Also, my upstairs neighbors just got home, so I'm sorry if you guys can hear them. Um, and then you want to scroll down even further, and there is a triple buffering thing. And I'm pretty sure it's either use global setting or just off. Um, you want to click the on. That's all you got to do is click on. And then vertical sync, it kind of works with... Uh, uh, the frame rates and stuff. It just it's just another thing vertical sync is a collection of settings that control how the GPU render rate inter Interfaces to the refresh rate of a monitor you want to go ahead and click that on um, And that is all you have to do for in the NVIDIA It's super easy and then if you guys don't have NVIDIA head on over here um, And I'm sure you guys can search up a video on how to do it Sorry, I can't show you guys. So yeah, that is how you guys limit your frame rates. Super easy. So the next thing you're gonna want to get is the Sims 3 Smooth Patch. Um, basically, <clears throat> what this does is this mod makes the game's logic threads run faster, speeding up loading of build and buy and cast, smoother UI elements, smoother create a sim, and can also speed up live mode and loading. It's essentially a general improvement of just the entire game. So if you have the Steam version or the disc version, you want to go ahead and download this version right here, or version right here. Um, if not, then you want to grab the Origin um, and go ahead and download it. Yeah, I know, I know. It might give you the thing, the virus, whatever. Um, and then you're gonna go over here and extract to whatever. Um, I just go ahead and um, extract it to my downloads folder like that. And then I will show you guys the path for origin specifically. I'm not gonna drag and drop or anything like that because obviously I don't want to because I already have it installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up another file explorer and I'm gonna go to my local C disk C drive, go to program files, Oregon ga Origin Games, oh my gosh, The Sims 3, Game, and Bin. So these three little things right here are right here. We got the patch launcher, um, the TS3 patch uh, text document, and the TS3 patch ASI. So I already have it, but basically all you're going to do is you're going to drag them all and you are going to basically just place them in there. Um, so yeah, super easy. Nothing too crazy with that one. Um, there is some things that you can actually change. Um, so I, so, okay. So TPS ticks per second speed of processing logic. If you have a more, um, you know, higher, you know, uh, computer, you can go ahead and change this TPS. So the default is 500 for the TPS and I raise it to a thousand. I feel like it made my game just a little bit better. Only do this if you have a higher, you know, graded CPU or anything like that. Don't do it if you don't. If you're on like a laptop, keep it as a default 500. I don't want you guys to ruin or fry anything on your computer. So unless you feel very confident that your computer can handle it, then raise it up. But it may or may not even slow down your computer or your game because your computer is overworking, if that makes sense. So that is the Sims 3 patch. Um, and honestly, another great great thing to get your game to run just a little bit faster. So the next thing you guys want to get is CC Magic. So this has been around since 2011. It was updated in 2012. It still works clearly. Um, and 
it's another thing that I was very scared to even try. Um, I would go ahead and like merge my custom content. Like I have, I have a video of how showing you how I did it. And that way of doing it was so time consuming and just so just like, why, why did I do that? After I, you know, talked to people and watched videos of how to make a CC magic work, um, I have a link to a video that I'll have in the description bar. If you guys want to watch it, feel free. Trust me, you guys will not regret it. <laughs> um, I love it and I don't think I'm ever going to go back to doing just the basic way that I used to do custom content downloading. So um, I went ahead and downloaded the CC Magic install program. It does all of the settings how it's supposed to be. Um, this is what CC magic looks like. I keep like freak, like my mind is like all over the place because my kids are in the room and I can hear them bickering and arguing and uh, it's so hard to do videos in the day, but you know, I got to do what I got to do. <laughs> all right. So this is CC magic. So I am a very organized person when it comes to custom content for any game. Like this is my Sims 2. Uh, downloads mods folder. It's so organized, so, so organized. And then this is my Sims 4 mods. Also, so, so organized. It's just, I don't know, my brain works in mysterious ways. I have them all situated in own folders. So Legacy is basically the, uh, oops, the uh, mods folder that is in your documents. So if you go over here and you have all the packages and everything like that, this is what is in the legacy. This is the stuff that you do not want to place in to CC magic at all. Sliders, poses, patterns, mods, um, eyebrows and freckles. Don't know why, but every single time I put these on, they don't ever show up in my game. I'm not sure why. So I just put them on here because it works. Um, and then obviously your defaults. So that is what the legacy is. Don't put those stuff in this or anything like that. So what you're going to do is, like I said, I have a video I can show you guys. I have build and buy and clothes separately and hair and then makeup, skins, eyelashes, all that fun stuff. So you're just going to go ahead and actually add like a new set. I'm going to name this test. Um, and you can even put, obviously, separate folders. So if you highlight test and you hit add, it adds another set. And you can name this, like, test two or something or whatever. Um, and it is the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So, like I said, if you guys want to use this, please, please, please don't just download it and just try and figure it out yourself. Watch the video that I have linked in the description. She goes in depth on how to do all of this. And honestly, it has been a game changer. And I don't want you guys to use this and ruin anything. So please, 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 please watch that video. The next thing is going to be the featured items folder in your documents folder. So this featured items folder is basically a folder that, um, like the store, like all of that stuff. When like you go into create a sim and up at the top right, it'll show you like items from the store. It's like enticing you to go buy stuff from the store. Um, that stuff is so annoying and it can bog up your game so much. So if you have the featured items, which everyone does, you want to go um, right click, hit the properties um, and then go to security. And then you'll have all of the usernames that are, or users that are on this computer. Um, you want to uh, hit, I think, yeah, you want to hit dot. You want to hit edit um, and you'll have all of this and you want to hit, so the system will just be denied, but um, hit the system full control, hit the deny and then do it for all of the other ones. And then after you're done, hit apply. Um, and basically what it's gonna do is give it to the point where the game can't automatically 
put things in that folder. So right now I can't even access it like I could, but um, I don't have permission. So nothing can mess with that. The game can't mess with that. Nothing. I didn't know this for the longest time. And I found out about it a few months ago and it's been amazing. It's been so amazing. Um, so since now we are still in this folder, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the files that you can delete every so often or every single time you get out of the game. It honestly doesn't matter. I do it every so often. I back up my saves like every two weeks and that's when I normally will come in here and delete all these unwanted files. Um, so it's the cache files. So you can delete the cast part cache, the compo composter cache, um, the script cache, the sim composter composter cache, I don't know, and the social cache. It's just cache files or cache files that literally don't do anything in your game. Like they're just there. It's just annoying. So you can delete those. And these script errors are actually part of a NROS mod called Air Trap. Um, it basically will put up a dialogue in your game and it'll make these folders or these files and you can upload them to NROS website and people will help you find what's causing your game to have some kind of error. Or you can just delete them like I do. <laughs> Um, and then in your DC uh, backup, you will have all of these files. If you guys can't tell, I have a bunch because this, all these files are basically cache files for any of the Sims 3 store content. And it's literally just backups. You don't, you don't need them. Um, I just downloaded all of my store content the other day. If you guys can't tell, 9-20-21. 20, um, and that is because I downloaded all those. All of these can be deleted except for the CC merge. Leave the CC merge. So all of these files, there's 3,272 files in this folder. If I go to properties, this size of this folder is 4.23 gigabytes. It does not need to be that big. I would religiously delete these from your computer if you have this. It's from the store content so if, or store thing or whatever. So if you don't have any store content, you most likely don't have this. But if you guys do, then definitely, definitely delete them because trust me, they're, they're not, they don't need to be there. <laughs> um, okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and jump into game. And this is kind of gonna show you the NROS mods that I use, my game settings, and all of that fun stuff. Um, so let's jump into game. Okay, so we are in game now and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my settings. So you don't need to have your settings be up this high, but because I love, you know, pristine graphics, um, they're up at high because I can. Um, if you guys can't have your settings up this high, don't feel bad. Trust me. I used to have to play on medium and low before I got this current desktop that I have. Um, I do turn down high detail lots just because it kind of helps with just the rendering of everything. So it says adjust the number of nearby lots that render at high detail. Higher settings may negatively impact game performance. So I honestly, I don't care if my next door neighbor's house is not the best, you know, detail. So I just want, you know, what I'm seeing, what I'm viewing at high detail. So that is what I have. Um, also enable an animation smoothing. Enable smoother animation playback. Um, again, if you don't have a, you know, a good computer, you don't have to have this on. Um, and then I have the enable advanced rendering, which is just a little bit better render or shaders. Um, and then if you go over to the game options, you know, the general settings, there is enable interactive loading screens. I have these turned off because even though there's many people that say that it actually makes their game run or load faster, it doesn't for me. So it's kind of like a setting that you need to just kind of check yourself, um, turn them on, see what the loading times is and then turn them off and see what the loading time is you know um after i disabled this my loading times has cut off in like three minutes like literally 
it's amazing. Um, so that is basically all I change in my settings. Um, I leave everything else except for the lunar cycle. I don't like to deal with zombies and stuff on a regular basis, like a regular let's play. It's like a supernatural based let's play, like I'm playing with like fairies and witches and werewolves and all that fun stuff. Then I'll turn it on, but normally it's not. It's turned off. Okay, so the fun part comes. So I'm loading up my 100 Baby Challenge Let's Play. Um, So Enros mods have been around for ages. And if you guys don't play with mods, I get it. I totally get it. Um, But if you were going to download any mods, I would suggest downloading these mods that I'm going to be telling you about. Um, Not because um, you just need to type of thing, because it's going to help your game tremendously. So the first thing I'm going to tell you about is Air Trap, which you don't have a menu when you go to City Hall because Air Trap is a, a mod that kind of runs in the background and it'll tell you up at the top right corner like stuck aging or a sim is stuck in a routing area. Um, just kind of random stuff to kind of like get to know how your world's playing, I guess you could say. So there's nothing that I can show you guys for this one or uh, for air trap but it is definitely a mod that can help your game um find corruption and everything like that um so that is definitely the top one that you need to download um if you're worried about corruption of any sort so the next one i'm going to show you guys is master controller and master controller is probably my favorite thing I tried to play vanilla Sims 3, but I had to have master controller in. Um, it makes it easy for me to be able to send my Sims to create a Sim um, and a bunch of other cheaty little things. Um, but if you go to master controller and you hit on settings, you can go to the create a Sim setting right here. And all of these show compact clothing and stuff. I always said to true. Um, every single time I load up my game, just in case I come in um, to the game and I need to go into create a sim. So basically, compact mode makes it so everything only shows one icon instead of all of the swatches. So say you have a store content, or not store content, um, because store content only has normally one icon. But if you have seasons installed and you go to a jacket, it has five different swatches. Those all show, but now it's only going to show the base swatch. And you can click on it, go into create a style, and change it. It is makes your it makes create a sim run and just go faster. So with this plus the smooth patch, girl, my create a sim loads so fast. It's it's amazing. Um, so basically that's all I do in this one. Like I said, there's some more cheating stuff and everything like that that I just I haven't really messed with. Um, so there is master controller. Um, the next thing I'm gonna show you is register. So if you go to Enros and then hit register, this is animal control, tourist, and stuff like that. So animal control makes it so that you can do like say maximum deer, the things that fly or hop around. You can make it so that none of them generate or one of them generates that type of stuff. Raccoons, unicorns, wild horses, dogs, cats, the stray animals and the wild horses is what will lag your game. I don't know the default, um, but I allow two stray dogs and two stray uh, cats. Um, I allow no unicorns and no wild horses because the wild horses get get crazy there's times where like i go into like the city there's like five wild horses just sitting in the front of a building and i think that's ridiculous <laughs> same with the deer and the raccoon the raccoons kind of bug me they don't show up very much in the game but when they do they just bug me um i love raccoons they're so pretty and so cute in person but in game dude don't knock over my trash can or i'm gonna slap you in the face <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway, so that's my settings for animal control so that doesn't generate a bunch of, you know, random animals. Um, the next thing is tourist. 
So I have allowed tourists only because this is my 100 baby challenge. So I need people to come and possibly stay. Um, but if you don't want to allow tourists, you can turn this to false. Um, you can actually set a maximum number. So right now I have it to 10. I think that's default. Um, but you can lower it down so there's not a bunch of people coming and going. And then the chances of leaving basically um, and to the percent of chance that a tourist will leave town whenever they decide to return to their base camp. So you can kind of decide or they can kind of decide if they want to stay here, if they want to like move here or if they want to go back to the base camp. It's pretty cool. Um, I like it, but some saves I don't want random people to be generated. Um, okay, so the next one is Overwatch. So Overwatch is amazing. So Overwatch basically will reset everything from um like radios or cars. So it says turn off television, turn off stereos, um uh what is it? Um, just everything, clean up vehicles, a clean up situation. So if like a person is stuck, you know, growing up, it'll fix that. Um, clean up the laundry mats, clean up the Sims inventory. So they don't have a bunch of crap always in their inventory, like unplayed Sims, um, uh, clean up elevators. So if your elevator is stuck, um, concerts, so there's not, you know, a stuck concert going on 24 seven that's happened. Um, and the homelessness is just based or homeless people are just basically random Sims that don't have a home. That's kind of the game has generated into the game and they don't have a home. Um, it'll get rid of all of that. And you can totally go through all of this and change the setting and everything like that. Um, and you can also. Um, so mine is set alarm hour for 3 a.m. So basically it'll go off at 3 a.m. I think is what it is. Um, and then you can also go into, um, I think, I think it's in settings. Um, you can, oh no, it's not. Oh no. So display nightly notifications. You can actually turn those to false and it won't have a pop-up up here, which kind of is annoying sometimes, especially when it's like a bunch. Cause it'll tell you, oh, da 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 da. Cars have been deleted. Da 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 da. Radios have been turned off that kind of stuff. So it can be kind of annoying, um, but you can totally turn that off. Um, and yeah, another one is saver. So basically saver, it will pop up with a save reminder. So I have it minutes between saves, which is real time, 15 minutes. So if I'm like hardcore playing in 15 minutes, it'll tell me to save. You can exit out of it or not but if your game is just like loaded up and you're not moving the camera and nothing like that nothing's happening it won't tell you to save so amazing i love it you can actually also go to save method and be sim time or by hour i have it real time um 15 minutes because i feel like that's pretty good i might bump it up to 20 minutes because that's kind of how long my videos tend to be and i don't want to have a pop-up if I'm doing like a 30 minute video, I have two pop up. It's just kind of annoying. So, yeah, that is all the NROS mods that I suggest you guys get. I still do have a lot. I do have portrait panel, which makes it so that you can see. So if you have more than eight Sims in your household, it just makes it so that you can have more portraits pop up. So much was covered. I will have um chapters and stuff so you can fast forward if you don't care about more things or anything like that um yeah i'll have video links for the cc magic and i will also have a link to smooth patch and all that fun stuff so that is all guys um if you guys made it to this part of the video thank you for sticking by me um like i said in the beginning i know that there's other videos like this out there but i just feel like there's some stuff that some people do that i do differently or you know extra stuff that i do and stuff like that so yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I will talk to you guys all in my next one. Bye everyone.